New York Democrat Charlie Rangel facing 13 ethics charges let loose, delivering a blistering 37-minute speech saying he will not resign and daring the Ethics Committee to take its best shot. I don't want anyone to feel embarrassed, awkward. Hey, if I was you, I may want me to go away too. I am not going away. I am here. Are you going to expel me from this body? Are you going to say that while there's no evidence that I took a nickel, asked for a nickel, that there's no sworn testimony, no conflict, that I have to leave here? If it is the judgment of people here, for whatever reason, that I resign, then heck, have the ethics committee expedite this. Don't leave me swinging in the wind until November. For God's sake, just don't believe that I don't have feelings, that I don't have pride, that, that I do want the dignity that the president has said. If I can't get my dignity back here, then fire your best shot in getting rid of me through expulsion. Just an amazing moment. Let's bring in our Washington editor, Rick Klein. And, and Rick, it was extraordinary what we saw today. Also something the Democratic leaders in the White House just did not want to see. It was awful timing, George. It's exactly the scenario that so many Democrats were hoping to avoid. Several of them were urging Chairman Rangel not to go to the House floor today to save any further comments for the House Ethics Committee. And in fact, the irony is that Chairman Rangel's comments were almost certainly counterproductive to his efforts to save his job and his reputation. A number of Democrats I talked to today said the overwhelming feeling on the House floor was that of sadness, mixed in with a little bit of anger that he would use a forum like this to issue a public defense. That's for sure. But one of the reasons he used that forum Forum is because he has special protections on the House floor, unlike he would have in a press conference or if he spoke somewhere else. That's exactly right. He said he wanted the chance to address all of his colleagues, but the Constitution does carve out special protections for House and Senate members who speak on the floor of Congress. Anything he said today can't be used against them either at the Ethics Committee or any other proceeding. But it almost certainly means now that there will not be a deal that this is going to trial. Okay, Rick Klein, thanks very much.